All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'd like to say all praise due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations and blessings to all the Akim pushing the word of truth throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, this is Tyler Yaf, GMS Boston, coming back with a, uh, a quick impromptu uh, uh, <clears throat> we were speaking or commentating through the scriptures okay and uh, I was watching a little of you know the IUIC uh, what was the name of the video sealed by God or marked by man okay and uh yeah man this 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 is going too far man these people are uh they're not on the the job that was uh left behind okay to warn the people from the impending uh, doom that's coming, man, and they're they're too uh, busy settled in their lease, okay, enjoying the for their eyes the good life, you know, and it's making them uh, error in many various ways, you know, especially when it comes to Revelation's thirteen chapter. And they won't they won't let it go in the way of of you know how they were taught by the their leader of the IUIC, Nathaniel. Uh uh and um it's it's incorrect, man. It's all wrong, man. You know. And the information's out, you know, the rest of the, the, the free world is gearing up and pushing for, you know, the the karagma. Okay, we can see the infrastructure now, how it's set up. Okay. In great detail. So much as the understanding at the end of the day of being a slave by this mark. Okay. And worshiping the beast system. Okay. Meaning putting yourself in that that uh in that system permanently being owned by Satan, okay? Or his physical counterpart on the earth. Okay. And um <clears throat> that's all have to do with something physical, man. It's not a it's not a spiritual uh, thing per se but it will lead to sp spiritual ruin if you do it okay because the ownership of you being in the physical and in the spiritual belongs to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai man okay and no man can own you all right. When it comes to uh, uh, that that spiritual aspect, okay. All things are of the Most High, and all things are controlled by the Most High, okay. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and you know, just going into it years ago, man, <laughs> it, it's all. It's all coming to to a head, man. Years ago, when we used to read the, you know, at one point in time, the elder apostles they they were pushing the ten uh, wise versions and the ten foolish versions. Okay. Very very heavily, okay, and it's it's for the matter of now you can see. Who's, you know, 
uh, uh, oil lamps are filled with oil and trimmed, okay, and bearing light. Like the scripture said, let me get a couple of scriptures before I go further. This is uh, Proverbs 4 and 18. It says, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more onto the perfect day. Right? So the, the words that we speak, right? In this hour of darkness, gross darkness, Isaiah the 60, uh, 60th chapter speaks about people groping in noonday, right? And they need a, they need some light to uh, to show them the way, man. And the light is the truth, man. The truth of the, the, the Holy Scriptures, okay? And one thing for sure, two things for certain. <laughs> You know, these, 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 these two groups, man, they, you know, and when I say these two groups, I'm talking about the IUIC and the ISUPK, man, their pride, their pride is, is leading them to destruction, man, okay, it's leading them straight to destruction and their congregation, the people that are with them, all right, and this ain't a, 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 we told you show type of thing, man, this, our people are in impending danger, man. Okay, when it comes down to that C hip. Okay, that's talked about in Revelations, the 13th chapter, man. Okay, this guy, he made fun. It's June, ain't no microchip. And, and it's being set up all around him. What's going to happen is he's going to be found to be a liar. As he's being shown today, Okay. And they going back to the ten foolish virgins, you know, it's a it's this is one of the things right here. All right. This is one of the things that need to be shed it light on, and they have no oil in their lantern, or their wicks ain't ain't properly uh uh um saturated with the word, man. So when it's time to, to light it up. And get people out of the darkness. It's not. It's not lighting, man. Okay, it might light for a few minutes, and then it's gonna go out. Still leaving people in darkness. Okay, ready to fall into the 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 pit. And that's not a job of a watchman, man. Okay. The job of the watchman, and I'm going to get it. Let's get that, Salaki. I'm going into Ezekiel 21. And let's go straight to uh, 9. It says, uh, I'll start at 8. It says, Ezekiel 21 and 8. It said, again, the word of the Lord came on to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened. And also furbished, right? So, this is our job. Our job is to talk about that destruction that's coming on every fast and on every level, man. Okay. I don't know if they talk about the famine. I, I don't watch a, a lot of IUIC videos. Okay. Because it's always the law, the law, the law. So on and so forth, but uh, when you getting down to the the nitty gritty of it all, all right, there's things that uh we supposed to be telling the people, the people of the nation of Israel to watch out for. And you know he's already been um spotted or mocked for telling people to take the the uh funny sauce. And people falling out and dying in this congregation about said uh, sauce, you know what I'm saying? And they're, they're felling, man. They're felling. It's like an old Baptist church, man. They're not telling the people the real, the real deal, so to speak, what's going on. 
And like I said, the infrastructure for the sea hip is, is here, man. And you got other various countries already going into it, man. You got uh, uh, India, okay? One step away from receiving the, the grain of rice, okay? China, right, right around the corner from uh, receiving the grain of rice, okay? The UK, that part of Australia, I'm saying not the, not the, uh, in England, but Australia, Australia is in austerity, man. They having real, real big problems, and it's uh, a shadow ban from the news, man. Okay, it's concentration camps over there. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. They didn't lock up people away from them families, their families and such, due to that uh, that that C one uh, uh niner. You know what I'm saying? And none the wiser, man. They they're not saying nothing, man. This is a, a false uh, uh group, and they only care about uh things on this side, man. When I, I'll get that scripture too. And this is uh, Ezekiel twenty one and ten. It said it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contaminates. The rod of my son as every tree. Okay. And uh, these these things are uh, coming fast, man. They're coming fast. All right. Add the bolt of lightning. Okay. 2023. I don't know if they go into news and prophecy the way that the brothers in GMS do, you know. But we we keep our, our eyes on the on the news. It says to say say stay circumspect in these days, man. Okay. You become the news reporter, so to speak. Don't let people tell you what's going on. You get to the to the the issue before they do. And use your 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 thinking your thinking uh, processes. You know what I'm saying. All things are possible through your how about Shem Shah, man. Ask for understanding on what you see uh, uh, turning in the world, man. The prophets of oh, why no other group talk about what John see? Pursuing to Revelation 13. And 18. Nobody want to talk about <laughs> Revelation the 18th chapter. These two groups, I barely hear them talk about it. You see? Because they, they love this world. They want it to keep on going, man. All right. Let's get this real quick. Let's go to Isaiah 8. Cause there's something been shown to the to the masses as well, man. All right, for them not speaking according to uh, what they're supposed to be speaking to. All right, this is Isaiah eight and twenty. Let's get it. Uh, what is it that? This is a uh, this is Isaiah eight and twenty. It says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Going back to the ten foolish virgins, man. Okay, they're walking these people, uh, uh, uh right off into. Off the cliff, man. And right into a ditch. Okay? Blind leaders of the blind. 
They shall both fall into a ditch. That's what it says in the scriptures. Okay. Verse 21, it says, And they shall pass through it, hardly beasted and hungry, and it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry, they shall fret themselves and curse their king and their power and look upward. Okay? And that's that's what they're going to do. Why? Because they've been mis, misinformed. Okay? And they shall look on to the earth and behold trouble and darkness, dimness and anguish, and they shall be driven to darkness. Okay, going back to Isaiah's 60th uh, chapter. Okay. So they settling them people deeper and deeper into gross darkness. And because they're doing that, <laughs> man, the Lord got a, a special place for them coming up, man. You know. And the Lord, he's going to have mercy on whom he's going to have mercy. Okay. And, you know, we pray that the humble individuals, okay, see the light, man, and repent, man, and get the hell away from that guy, man. And when you look at him in, in, in oh, man, he's exuding, like, uh, pride. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's exuding pride, man. And, and you know what that says in the scriptures, you know, pride before the fall, man. Winging it up there in the chair, man. You know, brothers do beautiful lessons. Now the apostle Taha, he didn't did uh, thousands upon thousands of lessons. Brothers then did hundreds upon hundreds of lessons. Okay. And I'm talking about the elder bishops too, man. All right? The elder bishops underneath the elder apostles, man, been pushing this word for, man, close to, to, to 40 years, I believe. That's that's what uh, the, the thing that's being said, you know? For the elder apostles, of Great Millstone, and for the elder bishops, uh, 30 plus, man, okay, so the word is, is, is being funneled through one group, the 100% truth, rather, is being funneled through one group, okay, and offshoots of this group, GMS, man, and, you know, we, not putting pride on ourselves, but the Lord has it this way. He has to have uh, uh, one that is certain and speak with authority, man. The first time I heard about the microchip, it, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, it, it, it was well, uh, uh, well brought out, man. It was informative to the point of making me study on it and then understand what this 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 RFID of microchip could do. Okay, and then lo and behold, you know, the, the NFC tap on the back of the phone, and, and then it, it became more and more of why John seen hands and foreheads with this neural link thing. You see, it's a part of prophecy, man. And these guys keep on playing around, man. They're going to get the just do, man. Pursuing to Revelation, it's the 14th chapter. He's going to lead all those people right into that ditch, man. You know? And this infrastructure is here, man. It's here. We just one step away for this economy crashing, you know? They're already talking about CBDCs, something else they don't talk about. See what I'm saying? 
Why? Because they're misinforming people. They they have been uh, uh, compromised in some type of way, man. Compromise you. If you you can't be this damn blind, man. You can't be. But yeah, man, this is this is what it goes back to. This is darkness. They're gonna lead their congregation into the darkness. And it says that as our gospel be, been hid, is hid to those that are lost, man. So if you wanna keep on going down that pathway, hey, it's nothing good that's gonna come of it. Okay? Nothing at all. So with that. I want to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakah Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom, Ababa Ball, and Kwame Asherala.